Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrisa. So in this lecture series, I am going to show you how you can model, analyze and design isolated footing in STAT Foundation Advanced 24. Okay, so uh, this series of, uh, you can say lectures will be uploaded on uh, YouTube and also in my detailed course on foundation analysis and design on our website uh, www.illustrisa.in or in the uh, Android and iOS based app for which you will be finding the description in the uh, you can say the links in the description okay so uh, the other foundation types like combined footing rafts uh, will be uploaded on our lecture series in the in the course only okay only the isolated footing part will be uploaded on both the platforms and obviously some detailed calculations understanding of the calculations will be discussed in the course uh, curriculum okay so on youtube we'll be getting a basic idea about how uh, you can you can model analyze and design isolated footing for detailed uh, lectures you can always join our uh, you can say online program uh, for all the details you can visit the website or you can download our app to know more okay so let's get started so here i have created a example model okay so if, if you see here uh, this is the structure with some walls uh, which i have modeled using white column method and uh, you can see if you if you see the loads i have few basic loads seismic loads static seismic loads dead load and live load and some uh, load combinations the the serviceability combinations in the thousand series and the design combinations in the 2000 series so these are the uh, you can say uh, combinations i have and some load envelope serviceability and strength envelope okay so once you have the model stat model you just have to run the analysis and keep the analysis results ready for the foundation design okay one more thing i want to uh, discuss here that here this this uh, support that we have assigned generally when we uh, you can say analyze the you can say foundations in, in you can say manually so what we do we get the results at the bottom of foundation so in this case suppose this is the foundation pad that we are going to make but when we are analyzing it manually we used to you can say apply the uh, support at the base of the foundation why because we want to transfer the moment or whatever force is there at the bottom of foundation right but here we are using the software program stat foundation advance and it is well capable of transferring the forces from the from the top to the bottom of foundation so what we will do we will always attach the uh, column at the top of the foundation here okay do not have to model the additional length here so what we will do we will fix the or we will uh, you can say assign the support at the top of the foundation that means the junction of the foundation and column okay and from here the set foundation advance will transfer it to the bottom of foundation uh, based on the you can say thickness and based on the location that we are attaching it okay so here we will be considering that the support is assigned at the top of the foundation and not at the bottom of foundation fine so accordingly you have to give the depth and all so uh, once this is ready the superstructure model is ready and it is designed properly you just have to uh, you can say again run the analysis if it is not analyzed so that you have the analysis results with you once it is done let us let us complete the analysis so once it is done you can you can save it and you can close it okay you have to close the model so once it is done you just open stat foundation advanced 24 and as we will be importing stat model so you just have to click here uh, import stat pro model you have to browse the model here so you can see it is already ready structure with white column for wall open now you can see you can set this based on your project data datum soil level soil level uh, you can basically uh, uh, set uh, later also now what is this soil level is telling you basically our structure this base that we have model it is at the zero in the superstructure so up to what height you have the soil at the top so suppose we kept the top of foundation at 1.5 meter depth from the uh, you can say uh, what should i say from the from the top of the i mean ground level right so in this case uh you can give the soil level as uh 1.5 okay so what i will do here i will make it soil level as 1.5 you can change it later basically water level suppose it is i mean the water table suppose it is 500 mm above the foundation top 
so i will just give it water table as uh, 0.5 meter from the zero which is our top of foundation right you can give the project name client name all this data as per your requirement unit system will be using metric okay and datum also you can set but will be keeping the reference datum as zero zero as for as of now okay i'll click on create so now it will uh, read the data from the superstructure and it will import the superstructure in your stat foundation advanced 24. so now you can see uh, the model is imported and there are uh, one pop-up window that will appear here this is the analytical information uh, y is up here in the axis as we have in the stat model the number of nodes load cases everything is written here you go to import option at what reference point we are importing it if you want to change it you can change it here if you want to see the load cases you can click on edit you can see these are the load cases and the load types so it is correct uh, if you click on the load combination if you click on select you can see uh, automatically the thousand series uh, which do not have any factor uh, are you can say under the service condition and the design combination are i can say selected on the ultimate condition if there is any problem here or any mistake done by the software you can change it by your own okay but here it is all all, all correct so we are not going to change anything so i'll just cancel it i'll click on import okay so let us wait okay so you can see the model is ready here for uh you can say assigning the foundation to the to the columns so first of all what we will do first of all let us let us create isolated footing uh, just for time being we'll be assigning the isolated footing to these two columns okay not not the others so these two columns and i'll go to geometry here you just have to select these columns by your uh, cursor like pressing the control and using the cursor you can select these columns you can go to geometry here and isolate it and click on the object you can see uh, some edges are showing edge 1 edge 2 so you just have to assign some dimension fundamental dimension initially so first of all the fix if you if you see this 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 table uh, we are aligning aligning with the top okay and specifying the level so we are top level at 0 0 we are saying that foundation top is at the zero of our uh, superstructure right so this is all okay we are not going to change it uh, pedestal is not required as we do not have any uh, you can say like when we have steel column then we cannot take the steel column up to the foundation so we used to provide the pedestal but in case of the rcc columns it is not required so that's why it is kept as no a pedestal for steel if you, if you just see this pedestal for steel column it has made it automatically it is given as yes but we do not have any steel column so it is not coming now uh, now the thickness of the foundation you can you can start with any any thickness so ultimately when we when we'll be designing it it will be changing uh i mean we need to change it in uh, based on the design requirement for the you can say size now you can see edge one and three in both the case are this uh the edges along the z direction right along the z axis and the edge one and two are the edges along the x axis so let us let us give a square uh or maybe uh, edge uh you can say one and three let us let us make it uh two meter and uh, edge two and four let us keep it one meter okay so we are making a uh you can say kind of rectangular foot right or maybe 1.5 meters let me let me go with 1.5 meter okay fine uh so you can see this is the this is the footprint for the foundation thickness let us let us go with the thickness of 400 mm as of now correct i'll click on create so once you click on create then only this this particular thing will appear okay so i'll just click on create you can see the foundations are created so above this you have the water and obviously once we assign the soil the soil will also visible so this is the uh, water table above the foundation 500 mm above the foundation that we have assigned so you can see if you just click on any foundation okay any foundation let me cancel it yeah so now this uh, information is available here so thickness is 400 mm uh, you can see let me let me show you soil height 1.5 meter soil level and soil height obviously from from 00 so it is same uh 
water table 0.5 meter above the foundation correct so once we are done with this what we will do we will assign the materials here so for that i'll go to specification okay i'll go to concrete and i'll click on select here so you select the code so these are the available codes as of now we have sca 318 and is456 i'll just click on is456 2000 you select the material from this material list so suppose m25 grade of concrete we are going to use click on add to model close it so you can see this is uh, added to the model but it is not assigned so what we will do we'll select these two footings okay and if you and if you go to this properties uh, window and if you scroll down you will find this material here concrete grade you just click on this drop down and the added uh, you can say concrete material is available here so just add it select it here so it is added to this foundation okay so once we are done with the concrete we can also define the rebar material so let us go to rebar steel select select the is456 code and select the grade of steel you are going to use click on add to model but this uh, grade of steel will be using during the design as of now we'll not be assigning it anywhere okay now let us create the soil properties like what soil will be having at the base correct so i'll just go to create let us name it suppose i have a net sbc of 300 kilometer meter uh, kilometer per meter square okay so sbc i'm just writing it here suppose sbc 300 fine these informations you need to get uh, get from the geotechnical engineer the density dry density weight density friction coefficient and passive pressure coefficient for the soil uh, bearing capacity will be using net bearing capacity so i have selected net here now this subgrade modulus either you have to take it from the geotechnical report or as we assume most of the time k is equal to uh, you can say sbc suppose net sbc by the delta settlement allowable settlement right delta allowable this is this formula we use generally when we do not have any uh, you can say subgrade modulus provided in the geotechnical report right but if you have it uh, it is always better to get it from the uh, uh, from the soil report okay so what i will do now i will uh, so let us let us say that our net sbc is 300 kilonewton per meter square and we are allowing settlement of 25 mm okay delta allowable so it will be 300 by 0 0.025 okay this will be my uh you can say subgrade modulus in kilonewton per meter square per meter okay so if you just estimate it let me open the calculator it will be 300 divided by 0 0.025 it is around 12,000. okay so i'll just change it to 12,000 and my net sbc here we are not going to use the gross sbc so automatically it is faded out we are using the net sbc of 3 kilometer per meter square and allowable settlement we are making it as 25 mm. sorry 25 mm. fine now you can you can click on uh, you can say create so the soil data is created you can create multiple soil data actually based on the bottom of your foundation what depth you are putting the foundation so based on that the soil report is also given you the uh, you can say soil data and also based on the width okay expected width so if the width increases you need to check recheck the soil data right so i'll just select these two footings and uh, here again if you go to this properties uh, you can say panel and you'll find okay no sorry we cannot assign it from here you just have to select it and uh, from here if you go to support assign you cannot uh, assign it from this particular thing okay so you just have to go to support assign okay now you select the soil uh, properties that you have created it is sbc 300 and uh, you can say yeah same use same for overward and also and you click on assign so now you can see the same soil information that means the dry density and the weight density that we have assigned so this is assigned as the the same is assigned as the overburden and 
at the bottom we have this uh, the soil layer that we have added okay so these are the basically the area soil area springs that we have assigned so this is the over one end this is the water and then we have the area springs okay uh, with the subgrade modulus that we have defined so after assignment of the soil after assignment of the soil uh, what we need to do we need to uh, create the analysis uh, command to this particular or you can say the uh, 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 yeah analysis command or analysis criteria to the foundation okay this is the analysis criteria so this thing we will see in the next lecture so i hope up to this you have i mean you have got an idea how you can create a uh, isolated footing and you can uh, assign the soil properties and you can assign the soil levels uh, and the soil springs in the uh, isolated footing okay so we'll see in the next lecture how to assign the analysis post analysis criteria and how to analyze the uh, isolated foundation in step foundation advanced 24 thank you and we'll see you in the next lecture